Hi everyone, um, as you can see today we are looking at the T-point entry on the left hand side of the circle with a half open receive in the forehand and uh, ultimately leads to a successful 1v1 elimination. Here we've got Belgium versus South Africa in the under-21 Junior World Cup. Um, this is Belgium's second goal. Stockbrooks passes the ball to Nelson Nana, who half open receives. He assesses the situation, moves the ball to his left hand side, then uses his body to cut off the South African defender and then executes a good goal scoring op opportunity and celebrations all around. A couple of things to notice first, technically, on the half open receive is that first of all the grip on the stick we've got the basic grip we've got the index finger and the thumb forming a v slightly down the back of the stick with the right hand slightly about two first further down the stick wrapped around completely then also important to notice here is on the receive that the ball is received in line with the right foot and also that it's not received close to the foot and close to the body but slightly outside the body allowing the head to stay up and this will help with the vision and decision making later on as we'll see also important to notice here is the left elbow extended forcing or helping to keep the stick in an open position and therefore the ball in a good carrying position if the elbow was slightly inward the ball would have moved on the first touch forward immediately forcing him to only go in that direction and that would have been his only option with his elbow extended also it helps to keep the body facing inwards uh, to have maximum field of vision also note here that the toes and feet are pointing in the direction of the movement this helps him to move at speed and keep moving at speed while executing, executing this technique and also attacking the baseline. As we can see here, the ball is still in a good carrying position, but the eyes are up and therefore you can assess the positions of the defender as well as notice any potential passing opportunities to any of his teammates within the circle. As we can see here that the pass line is cut off by the defender here. Um, this is what we call also the show and go mentality. Uh, in, for example, in a 2v1 scenario where you want to show that you want to maybe pass the ball. Um, if the defender was to move quickly into this area here, then the pass would have been op op available. But we'll see here that the defender stays in the pass line, cutting it off, and the space available down the baseline is there to attack and to manipulate. Importantly for me in a 1v1 scenario is the not the right to left pull here, as we see he's moving the ball to his left hand side, and he's got his body between the ball and the defender, but it's attacking the space behind the defender for me that's crucial. If he was to continue in this direction down the baseline, the defender would have been able to stay in a good defensive position, forcing him onto the goalkeeper, or at least just applying defensive pressure. But as we can see here, he moves his right leg through, keeping his body between the ball and the defender, cutting off the defender completely, and thus it's a very successful elimination. This puts him in a very good scoring opportunity uh, position uh, with a slightly better angle. And as we know, he executed it very successfully. So just a review, we see the pass, half open receives, pull to the left hand side, use of body, eliminates and scores. To train this, we'll have the attackers in orange, the defenders in blue, Attacker A passes to B, who also half open receives, making sure the ball's in line with the right foot, opens up the left foot. Quick pass to attacker C, who half open receives in the T point and drives the baseline, try to cut in behind the defender and 
to give him a better scoring opportunity. At first, the defenders are just passive, just applying pressure, but later they can become active and try to win the ball in the 1v1 scenario or intercept the pass uh, between the players if the between the attackers if the passes are not executed quickly if they win the ball they can then counter attack and score in goals d1 also a further upgrade to this would be attacker a moving into the penalty spot area uh, attacker b after the pass move into the 90 degree area and now attacker C has to make a decision whether he's going to drive the baseline or pass to one of his teammates to score um, by depending on the position of the defenders. I hope this helps and feel free to pause here to read through the structure again of the exercise. Have fun training guys!